I think it's unfair that kids will have to grow up and deal with the choices of old men they don't even know. And they'll have to live with money being debased 50%. I want people to know there's another option. Can I make potions? Oh, no, 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 no. Dad, can I get a Komodo dragon? No. Nope. Can I drive? <laughs> no. Can I have $48? Kids are curious about everything. They want to know about the world around them, but not all questions have easy answers. What is money? Ah, great question. Managing money is an essential life skill, one that plenty of adults struggle with, let alone being able to define exactly what money is. Most people just take it for granted and don't really drill down on the subject. Bitcoiners and Bitcoiner kids and teens, however, are different. Hi, I'm Sierra, and I'm a Bitcoin maximalist. They read books. These are really cool. I read them all. One is like about Bitcoin and the golden rule. That's my favorite. The future generation of Bitcoin uses critical thinking skills. If I put about $100 in this piggy bank 10 years ago, right now it would be worth, I don't know, maybe $70. That doesn't seem fair. It's like stealing. And they have life goals. What do you hope to be able to do with your money when you're older? Buy a Snoopy refrigerator! And when your dad is one of the biggest podcasters in Bitcoin, you might end up orange-pilling your friends whether you want to or not. Yeah, it's kind of hard not to know about Bitcoin yeah, with like having it. Daniel Prince as a dad. <laughs> so. At first, I didn't really find Bitcoin interesting. It's just something that my dad just kept telling me every single night. But every time I interviewed someone, it got more interesting to learn. Sometimes when, my, when I'm on a call, for example, with my friends, and my dad just comes in, and he just shouts, for example, buy Bitcoin, <laughs> they're suddenly like, <laughs> what is Bitcoin? And so I have to explain that to them and explain why he's so interested in it. Every single Bitcoiner I've met have been really funny and have been really nice and helping. And I think they're like that because they see the freedom in Bitcoin and they want to help a lot of people see that freedom and be that free. I think all Bitcoiners are very open-minded and very yeah, smart. Definitely. It's inspiring to see young Bitcoiners around the world educating their friends about the best savings technology ever invented so they can think about their futures without so much worry and so they can afford to dream. My name is Zonda Fotting and I'm from Cameroon. I educate kids on uh, Bitcoin and I'm also the author of the Bitcoin Kids comic book which is on a mission to educate 21 million kids in the global south within the next five years. I started learning about Bitcoin when I was a senior in high school, so about three years ago. And now in college, I am in the blockchain club trying to orange pill everyone there and really spread Bitcoin education. So I've joined Generation Bitcoin and so we are now working on what's called like a Bitcoin university guide. So really everything we're doing is just try to help Bitcoin education be more accessible to Gen Z. I want to say that I hope that kids and young teens and young adults can get the proper education and knowledge about our debt-based monetary system before they get stuck in it. Because I think it's unfair that kids will have to grow up and deal with the choices of old men they don't even know. And they'll have to live with money being debased 50% and they won't even know because they're not teaching it at school. Even if not everybody gets into Bitcoin right now, I want people to know there's another option. Thanks to Bitcoin, there is hope for generations burdened by global debt and an alternative to our broken fiat monetary system that has created glaring wealth disparities among young and old. And thanks to the kids and teens of Bitcoin, there is hope for a bright future full of teachers who can explain it to us like we're five. What's the best money in the world? Bitcoin! Bitcoin.